In this video, we are doing a performance review of these, the Sockney Guide 15. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs and Stability Shoe HQ. Yeah, we're back talking stability shoes in this video. Now, I wanted to come back, report back on this awesome shoe. I know I get excited about shoes, but this one is an absolute winner. So we've done over 50 miles in the shoe now, and I wanted to come back, report, let you know how I've been getting on with it. Um, this is going to be one of the best stability shoes of 2022. I can't see much beating it. The Tempest from Sockney is also a contender. Um, both very, very good shoes, but there is something about this shoe that I really, really like. Okay, first let's do a couple of stats. 130 quid, uh, eight mil drop, new upper on it. Uh, we've got these like tabby things here that help with the midfoot lockdown. We've got the hollow tech here on the medial side, which stops you falling in. Power run midsole, not power run PB like we've got on the Tempest, but power run midsole, which is firm, but it's not overly firm versus previous versions. We've got a good old gussety tongue. It weighs, UK nine and a half, it's true to size by the way. Uh, 10.3 ounces, uh, oh yeah, and a reasonable outsole. The thing for Sockney shoes at the moment, that's probably their biggest downfall at the moment, is their outsoles aren't very good, but it's okay on this one. This shoe could be the best stability shoe of 2022. I'm sort of umming and iron between this and the Tempus, because they do sort of different things. But what's great about this shoe is you can literally do everything in it, and it's a, a quick shoe uh, over those sort of speedier sessions that you may be doing. You can do your recovery miles in it. You can do your whole week's rotation in this shoe. It literally can do everything and do everything pretty well. It is a slightly firmer ride than what you might be used to, but I don't mind that necessarily in a stability shoe. I'm looking for something that is a stable platform underneath my feet, uh, 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 on my foot. I don't want anything that's too mushy. And this is great. You've got the hollow frame, which you know does help you in terms of steering you from collapsing in. Breathable upper, fits great. Uh, there's nothing too much around uh, the midfoot. There's there's not a lot of like plastic or junk thrown in this shoe. It's pretty basic in terms of what it's trying to do for the stability side of things, but it does give you plenty of feedback when you're out there on your runs. Overall, at 130 pounds, and you can get this cheaper now. I do think you're going to struggle to find a better stability shoe um, for the sort of short to medium distance here. Uh, the Tempest, I think, will take over if you're on those longer runs. But as a daily trainer for stability shoe wearers, this has been an absolute, yeah, it's been an absolute winner. The only downside, like I said before, is that is the outsole on these shoes is, is not particularly great in greasy situations if you run a lot on roads. It's absolutely fine down the canal tow paths, but on those roads where it's a little bit wet, a little bit damp, the outsoles aren't great, and it's the same for most socking issues, including the endorphin line. Um, but that's probably the only sort of downside I can see of the shoe, other than that sort of slight firmness versus other shoes out there. But this is better than a Rahi, this is better than a Vongo, this is much better than a Kayano. It's just, it just feels more alive. I think it looks better for starters. Let me know in the comments if you agree. I think it looks much better than any of the other stability shoes out there at the moment. I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but it's built well. It's held up well. Yeah, it's got some discolouring on it and the, the foam's all creasing. Whatever, yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely fine. It's doing brilliantly, uh, brilliantly in my rotation. I'm loving this shoe. I'm grabbing it more and more uh, for those shorter miles. If I've, again, I've got a day, uh, a day where I'm double running, coach session in the evening, I'm putting this on for one of those sessions, whether it be the morning or afternoon run, whichever way we're doing it. So, yeah, I can't, I can't compliment the shoe enough. I think if you are looking for a stability shoe in 2022, check out the Guide 15.